hi guys welcome back to my channel step campus in this video we are going to talk about frame so this will be a class 21 okay now first we will see what is frame and then we will move to the coding part okay so what is frame so from this website i will tell you so frame is a website inside a web uh, website okay like uh, clearly if you say so this is a main web page okay inside this main web page if you scroll down so you will see some again web page is there okay it is a kind of web page so web page inside a web page is called frame okay so this is a basic definition more definition you can go and search in a google now how to handle this thing okay so what we are going to see now uh, what we are going to see here in this well, first we will interact with this element we will uh, this text box and then we will uh, send some text here okay and then we will select the course okay so we will handle this drop down also and then we will handle this one also okay so let's see and then we will distinguish between the normal web page and the frame okay so for this one like uh, move to our ide okay inside this default package i will create one class okay yeah and i will give name frame handling And I will copy these three lines of code from the previous one, okay? For maximizing window, for in, uh, initializing the Chrome driver, and implicit weight, okay? And I will give implicit weight as one second now, okay? And first uh, we have to interact any uh, any page if you want to interact. So we have to first hit that URL, okay? So driver dot get, okay? And then we have to pass our URL, okay? Go uh, this web page we will copy the url and we will paste here okay some error is coming okay, okay. Uh, two bracket open that's it you want this one yeah now save it okay and run it so we will see like uh, this url is, is hitting or not okay Yeah, so we can see we can able to open this URL. Okay, now now what we have to do? See, first we will go with our normal approach. Okay, like how we are interacting with this element, we'll send value, and then for this drop down, we have to create one class, select class, and then we have to select Java, .NET, whatever you want to select. Okay, so first we will go with the uh, normal approach, and then we will see how frame is uh, like handled differently. Okay, so Control Shift I, so that we can inspect this text box okay and yeah id uh, id is there okay so we will go with id driver dot find element okay by dot id and id value we will give name and then we will use send keys to send our input okay okay and then we have to use semicolon at the end okay so we have selected this one text box and then we have sent this send step campus value let's see it we will go step by step so that we can understand easily so as per this code what it will do it will open a browser it will open the browser okay and then it will open this hyr tutorials in maximize window and then it will send a step campus there in the text box okay so we can see step campus given right now what we have to do okay so for this one like i am just uh, commenting out this uh, time out okay so that we can we no need to wait more time okay if we require then we will uncomment it again okay this uh, implicit wait but i think this is not required here let's see again after uncommenting this one sorry after commenting this one Okay, web page is loading that's why it is taking time yeah we can see step campuses there 
ओके नो प्रॉब्लम वी कैन अनकमेंट दिस ओके नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव हैंडल दिस थिंग राइट नाउ वी हैव टू हैंडल दिस ड्रॉप डाउन ओके सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गो विद द नॉर्मल अप्रोच इफ यू गेट दिस वेपन हाउ वी विल हैंडल सो फर्स्ट वी विल गो देयर एंड देन वी विल सेलेक्ट दिस वन ओके इंस्पेक्ट दिस वन सो वी हैव आईडिया अगेन सो कॉपी दिस वन गो देयर and then how we are handling our select uh, select uh, drop down so we are creating our select uh, select class we are creating select okay select class is required to handle any drop down okay select drop down equals to new select you already know these things if you are using with static web uh, with static drop down then you already know this one okay so if you are not aware about this one so i will suggest you to go and watch my lecture from the starting then you can able to see uh, understand this one driver dot find element okay by dot okay id and then inside this one we will pass our id value okay select so to we have to import okay now object dot okay drop down dot drop down the object here drop down dot Select by visible text. Okay, and then we will pass Java here. J capital A V. Okay, save it. Okay, save it. Now run it. Okay, so you understand like what we are going to do here. Let's see how it is behaving in the website. Okay. So first it will open our browser. Okay, and then when this element will load it, so it will give. step campus here okay that will take some time okay now after this one it should select course name but it is not selecting okay it is not selecting we will wait more time here but yeah we will see our editor comment as well so we are getting error okay what is the error so error is no such element unable to locate but why why we are not able to locate we have uses id which is more unique right still we are not able to handle this one why why because because this text box is present in the main web page but this drop down is not present in this main web page it is present inside the different web page that is frame okay so how to find this is a frame so it will start with i frame tag okay if normally if you say about this frame practice uh, like they have written here or whatever it will so it will be either div span anything but the frame will start with the tag i frame okay so we can't handle these kind of drop down or these kind of i frame directly from like from the normal web page so we have to tell our driver that driver i want to select this drop down but this drop down is present in the i frame section so what you have to do you have to first switch to your frame okay go to this frame and now you can select this java okay so we have to instruct our driver to do this thing so see how we can do so after this one we will write one command we will write like driver we are saying driver dot switch to okay switch to dot frame yeah you seeing here okay so we can go with the index also we can go with the string name also and we can go with the web element also so we will go with the web element okay because okay one minute uh, driver dot switch to okay dot frame okay we will go with this web element and then we will pass our web element here driver dot how to find this frame driver dot find element okay let's go how to find this frame okay so if you see this is a frame one control shift i we will find out how we can find out this frame okay we are instructing our driver that driver go to the frame first and then select the drop down because we can't able to select the uh, drop down directly because this is not present in the main web page this is present inside the web page that is in frame section okay i am saying again and again the same thing so that you can understand this thing close this one so many ads are coming okay frame so you can see there is frame one that is id copy this one control f control v so we can see one element one two element yeah that is but for different uh, same thing okay frame one if i give frame two also we have yeah 
frame 3 we have selected the frame 3 ok frame 4 no we don't have frame 4 so we have 3 frames so we can go with index also like index 1 so it will select this one but yeah uh, we will use some uh, unique thing so that if any frame added in the future also we can able to use that code that's why we are going with this web element ok so uh, id is frame 1 ok so we will copy this one we will go there and then we will writing like driver dot find uh, driver switch to frame driver dot final element by dot id ok and then inside this one we are passing frame ok now driver came to this frame section ok now they can able to select this drop down so this is a single command we have to do ok ok but uh, save it we will see run it we will see like we are able to handle this drop down ok so it will open this web page and then step campus should be passed here we will see it is working fine or not step campus written there now java also selected you can see before we are getting error but now the java is selected ok also we are not getting any error ok so hope you are understand like how we can have uh, handle this one but now what i now again what i want to do now i just want to give some different text here give different text there ok so i will clear this text box and then i will give some different value ok so how can we do, th do this so you will say like uh, we will inspect this element again ok we will inspect this element again and then we will clear this one first but normal approach I am saying ok and then again you will interact with this element yeah and then you will send some value send some different values right in normal approach I will give go ok save it and run it let's see how it is working like this is a normal approach right because we know like this is outside the main web page so we can handle it but no it won't work don't worry you will get all over the concept of frame here ok so you can handle any frame video will be long but yeah you will get all information so that you no need to see any other way, uh, video it will take some time but yeah we can wait ok step campus java selected now again uh, we we have to clear this page and then we have to send some different value but this is not working i think yeah this is not working why not working saying no such element oh why no such element this is a good question why no this element this two element is outside the web page ok outside the frame then why we can't able to handle this one we have handle here but we can't handle here why because we have said driver like driver go to this frame so driver is in frame only now it has no any knowledge about the main web page ok so again we have to say the driver driver come to your main web page and then do this again so whenever you want to enter into frame you have to say driver go to the frame with this command and whenever you want to come back again to your main web page again you have to say uh, the driver to the command so the command will be like driver dot switch to ok just follow this lecture ok switch to dot default default content ok default content default content what it will do it will leave the frame section and come into the main web page now save it and run it ok yeah so it will open this web page and then it will pass the step campus first here ok
it is taking some time so we have to wait till then okay step campus java selected again it cleared this one and gaurav is printed here it's so very quick you can give pause also but yeah i think you can able to see these things okay so and also if you see our editor so there will won't be any issue okay so i hope guys you have clear about this frame section okay so just practice this one okay